A place that could be filled with so much sadness is now described as a place of hope, a place where those who have passed on lay now gives those who are left behind a reason to live. All over Colorado, you'll find breathtaking places. Places where the water and the wind meet as one. See the birds and hear the birds chirping on cue. <laughs> Here at Seven Stones, you'll find just that. This is a place where music and art collide. All sorts of art and music. It's a place for laughter. It's a place for beauty. And even with all those things in the distance, ultimately, this is a place to heal. I've not ever experienced a cemetery like this before. At this cemetery, headstones are boulders and chalk is used as comfort. There's no rules here. It's a place where David, Davis and Domingo rest near rocks. He said it was the closest place to heaven on earth. Those were his words. A place for heroes. He's our hero and everybody's hero. Kendra Castillo, the 18 year old who was shot and killed at his school last May, has a spot here, along with children who lost their lives to young and public servants as well. Of course, Zach Parrish is another hero in our uh, community that lost his life tragically, and he's, you know, just a few feet away over here. You can use a hundred descriptive words to tell someone about this place, and you don't get it until you actually walk through the gardens and see and feel and hear the wind blowing through the trees. You see, even though this place is surrounded by death, clues will show you life is what really shines through. Peaceful, calm, relaxing. Oftentimes you'll see families roaming, couples too, people who don't know anyone buried here. It's like a little oasis. They say it happens a lot. This is just a nice way to spend the afternoon. I have people come for lunch sometimes and just spend time down in the shade sale. Maybe some people might think it would be weird, but I've gotten so used to it now that it just seems normal to me. Normal, the director says, to have an open park near those who have passed away. What a more beautiful setting. And an open policy for people along the path. I think that it's wonderful. It's normal when the purpose of a place is about leaving the dead to rest, while at the same time encouraging everyone else to simply live.